So what is a compiler? A compiler is a tool that converts source code written in a high-level programming language like C, C++, or Rust into machine code that a computer's processor can execute. Traditionally, compilers have three key stages. The front end reads the source code, checks for errors, and converts it into an intermediate form. The middle end optimizes the intermediate form for performance improvements, for example, faster execution or reduced memory usage. And the back end translates the optimized intermediate form into machine code that runs on a specific hardware, for example, x86 or ARM. So what is LLVM? LLVM, or Low Level Virtual Machine, is a modern compiler framework that separates these stages into modular reusable components. It's designed to handle multiple programming languages and target multiple hardware platforms. The key concept behind LLVM is its Intermediate Representation, or IR. So how does LLVM work? The front end is responsible for converting high-level code to LLVM IR. The front end of LLVM is responsible for converting code written in high-level languages like C, C++, Rust, or Swift into a common format called LLVM Intermediate Representation, or IR. This IR is like an abstract form of the code that is independent of the specific hardware or platform. This step separates the concerns of language parsing from code optimization and machine-specific details. An example is Clang, which is a front-end compiler built on LLVM that takes C or C++ code and turns it into LLVM IR. The middle end is responsible for optimizing LLVM IR. After the front end generates the LLVM IR, the middle end applies a series of optimizations to this intermediate representation. These optimizations are crucial because they improve the performance of the final machine code by making the code faster or reducing its memory usage. An example is dead code elimination, or removing unused code, or loop unrolling, which is restructuring loops for efficiency. The backend is for generating machine code. The backend of LLVM takes the optimized LLVM IR and translates it into machine code for a specific hardware architecture, such as x86, ARM, or PowerPC. Because LLVM IR is independent of any specific hardware, the backend can generate machine code for various platforms from the same IR, making LLVM highly portable. For example, you can write a program in C++, compile it into LLVM IR, and then use LLVM's backend to generate machine code for different systems like an Intel-based desktop or an ARM-based smartphone. One of the key features of LLVM is its modular architecture. This means that the front end, middle end, or optimizer, and back end are decoupled and can work independently. This separation allows developers to create custom front ends for different programming languages, reuse the middle end optimizations across languages, and target different hardware architectures using the same back end. This modularity makes LLVM flexible and extensible for various use cases, such as building just in time or JIT compilers. Just-in-time or JIT compilation should be used in scenarios where code needs to be compiled dynamically during execution, offering flexibility and optimization based on real-time conditions. It's very useful for dynamic languages. For example, languages like JavaScript, Python, or Java benefit from JIT because the code is often generated or modified at runtime, and JIT allows optimization based on actual usage patterns. JIT also provides performance optimization by recompiling hotspots, or frequently executed code, with aggressive optimizations after gathering runtime data, making the program faster over time. This is common in JVM, or Java Virtual Machine, and JavaScript engines, such as V8. JIT compilation also provides adaptive compilation, in which JIT tailors machine code to the specific hardware or execution environment, improving performance by adjusting based on runtime characteristics, for example, available CPU features. Let's take a look at an example in action. Imagine you are compiling a C++ program. First, you have Clang, or the front end, which converts C++ code into LLVM IR. Next, you have the LLVM optimizer, or middle end, which optimizes the IR to remove inefficiencies. And finally, you have the LLVM backend, which converts the optimized IR into machine code for your specific hardware, for example, an x86 CPU. This process makes LLVM highly efficient, as you only need to write a front end to convert any language into LLVM IR, and the rest of the pipeline can remain unchanged. So why is LLVM popular? 
Number one, it's language agnostic, meaning it supports many different programming languages because they all get converted into the same IR. Number two, it's platform agnostic. It can generate code for many hardware architectures from the same IR. And finally, optimizations. LLVM includes many state-of-the-art optimizations, making programs faster and more efficient. Here are a few key optimizations that LLVM provides. Number one is dead code elimination. LLVM removes code that doesn't affect the program's outcome, reducing unnecessary operations. In constant folding, LLVM pre-computes constant expressions at compile time, simplifying code before execution. In loop unrolling, LLVM expands loops to reduce the overhead of loop control and enables more parallelism. In inlining, LLVM replaces function calls with the actual function body, reducing call overhead and enabling further optimizations. In vectorization, LLVM converts scalar operations to vector operations, allowing parallel execution and improving performance on modern CPUs. These optimizations help LLVM-generated code run faster and more efficiently. In conclusion, LLVM is a powerful, flexible compiler framework that separates the concerns of front-end or language-specific parsing, middle-end or optimizations, and back-end or hardware-specific code generation. This modular approach allows it to support multiple languages and platforms, making it a key tool in both academia and industry.